the the Sosaku uh, creative print movement uh, had its audience in a in a much more educated, rather elite uh, group of of clients, and they like Koizumi and like their their probable marketers saw money in depicting this new city, this new city that was really uh, coming into its own by about 1930. The first prints in these series come 1928. It's a subscription series and the, the, the viewers are asked uh, to, to see very idiosyncratic choices in subject. Very idiosyncratic very, very idiosyncratic sometimes. Idiosyncratic. Yes, sometimes indeed. indeed. And, and little tastes. It's like personal vignettes. Again, we're going back to the 1890s, early uh, 1900s of this I movement that what I see is of value. I'm not trying to sell you a generic standard picture of something, but my interpretation of this highly selected thing is worthwhile. As you look at each one, you, you will note that they, they vary from somewhat refined to outright scratches on a, a wood block. Yeah, some of them seem to have been done under the influence of something. Something, yeah, yes. the influence of a deadline, perhaps. <laughs> but but and, and any of those things. But an another thing you will see uh, is the more than occasional use of what I call psychedelic color. Mm -hmm. uh, the, this uh, electric purples and mm. and oranges and everything else uh, communicate a vibrancy to life uh, that is somewhat different w from our friend uh, Koizumi. Well, we have you to thank because visualizing cultures would not have known really about Koizumi or the eight artists if you hadn't introduced them to us.